The Triennial Beef 2021 event is just around the corner coming up in May. I'm joined by Ian Mills, the CEO of Beef 2021. Ian, firstly, congratulations on getting this event up and running despite the pandemic circumstances. How challenging was it to ensure the event is going to go ahead? Well, Harry, I think uh, we're grateful we had a lot of support uh, to get to this point. I mean, our, our board are very committed to the event in uh, 21. Uh, we've got a great team. We've got a tremendous amount of uh, support from our event committee members and they're all volunteers can I tell you and a great group of people so uh, now we've been planning all the way we didn't stop planning we obviously had to deal with the challenges of COVID but now we're uh, well and truly right to go. And today of course you're launching the official program for the event which is a, a work in progress I understand it's up oh, online look, now it, it tell us what's is. in store. Well it'll, it'll grow as we uh, confirm things particularly around entertainment there are a few things we haven't quite tied down but it'll be exciting. Uh, your tickets are on sale today for members so if you're a member Get online and get your tickets today. If you're not a member, you've got a week to join and that gives you uh, entree to early tickets. And then uh, to the public, they go on sale next week. Now, for perhaps the newcomers, like myself, I've never been before. What do we expect? What, what is in the program? What, what happens at Beef 2021? Oh, look, it's a full week. It, uh, it is the biggest event of its type in the Southern Hemisphere. We've got more cattle here than at the Eka. It's just, it's phenomenal. So, so as well as all the cattle exposition that occurs over the week, we've got an entertainment program, we've got activities for children. We've got a, a couple of new initiatives this year, the Ken Coombe Tech Yards which will uh, highlight and showcase uh, all new technologies in the agricultural sector. Uh, look, it, it, uh, we've also got a couple of interesting entertainment offerings, which I'll leave uh, to, for people to get on the site and have a look when they're advertised, but it'll be fun. And of course, this is the first time that you're CEO running this, uh, this major uh, regional Queensland event. What are you um, yourself particularly looking forward to about Beef 2020? Oh, look, the whole thing, I've actually been in Rocky about 20 years and I've attended all the events that I've been here during that period. I'm just excited. It's, look, it's, it's the most exciting and interesting industry and to, and to be able to be part of a, an organisation that showcases uh, Australian beef, uh, just, uh, it gives me a lot of satisfaction. Well, all the best with it, Ian, and thanks very much for your time. Great to meet you, Harry. Thank you. Now, of course, uh, the Country Caller will be covering the event extensively leading up to and throughout the event. Uh, go online, of course, for that program and follow the Country Caller on social media.